for those who miss Wolf Hall and the Borgias, or for those who simply love Tudor epics and Renaissance Italy, comes a stunning new trilogy by Henry Viner Brooks. Welcome to the High Renaissance, the age of Michelangelo and Leonardo, of Machiavelli and Raphael, a belle epoch for warrior popes, poets, princes, and the real politique. But even as the philosophers claim that man has come of age, Europeans once again arm for war and descend on Italy. And into this inferno of intrigue and bloodletting, the Knights of Rhodes send Hugh de Erpingham to assassinate his own hero, Mark Antonio Vondraman, a knight who has disappeared with the Borgia gold that could save Rhodes from a growing Turkish threat. And as the Sultan amasses a monstrous armada on Gallipoli, these two errant knights, these two refugees from the collapse of chivalry, lock horns in a desperate dance of death across the Italian city-states, in a bid to save not just Christendom, but their own souls too. 25 years later, Hugh Erpingham is on a collision course with the Tudor elites. He has returned to England incognito and is now trying to atone for his sins as a monk in England's last Benedictine house. But when he rescues the children of heretic Elizabeth Fenton, Hugh is sucked into a web of intrigue that will lead him and them through the corridors of power and across the seas. Part coming-of-age novel and political thriller, part murder mystery, romance and novel of ideas, the heretic takes readers through the fires of religious violence in the old world to the hope of liberty in the new. The US Historical Novel Review calls it an exceptional new novel, a masterful story, delicious, multifaceted. The UK Historical Novel Society calls it a book of big ideas, political intrigue and action. This book has it all. Author Penelope Wilcox calls this book magnificent, a work of importance, moments of astonishing power. Could become a cult book of its kind. Out now in hardback and digital formats, please order the Renaissance Trilogy now for yourself or the novel reader in your life.